we get put in this secret room in Weatherspoons and we're just sitting there <laughs> on this table, just us three, like, with uh, a barricaded, they barricaded the door in. So we- What? <laughs> What's been your, your favourite moment doing it? Oh, favourite moment. We've had a couple of scary moments. Like, in terms of episode, my favourite episode was uh, talking about the naked spy I went to, because that was, like, we because I'd never told them before. Yeah, so jo- and it's, it's Joe's creasing, isn't it? Oh, my yeah. God. I've never, ever laughed so much in my life. That's <laughs> probably my favourite episode. But, like, we've had some, like, I, we, we didn't, we didn't realise how big Wafflin was, because mm. I think podcasts in general are, like, they're different to, like, so say like Cal and Josh, they launched the podcast. Now people come up to them and say, I love your podcast mm-hmm. rather than I love your YouTube videos. Yeah. So I feel like the podcast is much more connected with the audience. hundred percent. So we didn't realize that we went on a little trip to like Cornwall and we, on the way back, we stopped in at, you know, when I, I see. So Joe came on our show yeah. uh, last year and he was just about to head off yeah. on, on this. And we, we haven't spoke since, but tell us about this story. Did I he say it or not? He went on the trip oh, after. Oh, he's about to go. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, this yeah. is that trip. Yeah. So this is basically, well, I won't spoil it. Do you know what happened on the trip? No. Right. Okay, so so on the way back and I was like, oh, can we stop off like in Exeter? Because I can't do this whole drive myself. Mm-hmm. So we stop off in Exeter and we're like, oh, should we go for a drink? Uh, okay. It's a quiet town. Exeter, we, don't, we've, we didn't realize it's a university town. Yeah. Uh, we're like, oh, we just go to the nice local Weatherspoons. So we get to the Weatherspoons. We, we're like, oh, this looks a bit. This doesn't look like a Weatherspoons. It looks like a fucking frat house party. What is going on here? There's like everyone. This mental. And you're just due to have one drink we're and then just carry on a driving. Quiet drink and then go to be- go to bed. Oh, okay, yeah, right. We're just knackered after a long day, and uh, we we walk into this Weatherspoons, and we instantly realise, oh my god, we've just walked into like a freshers like it, it was it wasn't it was like summer, but it was like freshers. That was about it turns out there was about a thousand uni students there in a Weatherspoons. Fuck. Who would you, who would expect that? <laughs> who is a weather spoon? <laughs> that is mental. Like that's not normal. <laughs> um, and we, okay, there's a lot of people come up to us. Okay, whatever. So we go find this quiet table in the corner. Next thing you know, we are surrounded. The bouncers are trying to stop people coming up to us. Uh, the, the the entire place has just come and swarmed us. And obviously, us three are like we're actually like I was shitting myself. What the, because of how many people there, there were? Was thousands. But you guys must get recognised quite a lot. But so. never like that. Never like that. That was like scary, like zombie apocalypse shit. Uh, we had, the bouncers had to come and like say, guys, we like we need to move you because we don't know what's going to happen here. And as that happens, like there's a bottle gets launched towards me. <laughs> I'm like, oh Christ above. Fuck. So that's obviously it's, it's scared the shit out of me because it's bang. Luckily, it hit me on the shoulder because if that hit me in the head, like could have been bad. Why is someone launching a bottle at? You? Because like everyone there was fans, but you're gonna get a couple of twats. That think they're fucking hard. Look, yeah. hoodies, no beds, like blah, blah, blah. And blah. it's always their kind of go to is because people recognize and like you, they yeah. take it out on you as if, like, who do you think you are? Yeah. When it's like, I didn't choose for these people to come up to me. No. So we've had to, had about four bouncers just like shield us. We have to go through the masses. We get put in this secret room in Weatherspoons and we're just sitting there <laughs> on this table, just us three, like, with uh, a barricaded, they barricaded the door in. So we, what? They had to barricade, because they didn't, there was no lock on the door, so we've had to barricade the door so people can't get in. And then we just looked to our right, and oh my God, there's a window. So everyone out the fucking car park can now see in. So we're just sitting there like, well, we need to get out of here. So uh, luckily the bouncers helped us, f- they took us through the kitchen, uh, like away from the hordes, the masses, uh, and just ushered us into this Uber, and we just left, and we didn't even get a drink. We ordered the drinks, but we didn't get them. Fucking hell. But it hell. turns out, um, that Weatherspoons, after that incident, got shut down. Did it? Yeah, I don't know for how long for, but it got, maybe permanent, I don't know, it got shut down because a lot of COVID rules were being broken there. <laughs> oh, right. There was a thousand people there. <laughs> yeah. And the bouncer was telling us, oh, yeah, mate, someone here got stabbed last week. Like, usually during uni, like, there's three and a half thousand people there. I'm like, right, this is Weatherspoons. How fucking big is that Weatherspoons? Oh, it's big. It was, I've never seen anything like that. It's called the Imperial, wasn't it? Yeah. How, yeah. yeah, do you know about it? Just researched, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's called the Imperial. <laughs> I, I guess, hope it's open again. I guess there's just not much else going on in Exeter, so that's the go-to. I think that, it must be. They were saying, like, yeah, this, mate, this is where all the uni students come. I really liked the look of Exeter when I was doing my 51 Cities video. Did you? Driving around. Yeah, I liked the look of it. But bear in mind, I just dipped my toe in. I went there for, for too long. Yeah, yeah. I, may, I probably won't go back, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, 
Um, it did haunt me. I, it, yeah, it, was, it made me not go out for a while. I can't lie. Did it really? Well, yeah, it did fuck me up a little bit. Yeah. It's not that deep, but... No. Yeah. But if you haven't bottles launched that, yeah? Yeah, that did affect me a little bit. I can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully they weren't aiming at me. Well, they were aiming at one of you. They were aiming at well, probably. It yeah. was fucking one of yours. It was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> it missed my head though, twat. Hit me on the shoulder. Not to be um, sort of patronising to Luke, but because he's not really in that world, like until he came on the podcast, yeah. you you and Joe have been YouTubers for a long time. Yeah. How did he take that? Because that must be quite. He's been thrown into that world, hasn't That's he? Daunting. Definitely. He was. He was like, "What the fuck is going on?" But he's pretty like strong-willed, like. He still fights, so he's been recognised a couple of times now. Yeah. And he finds it really weird. Yeah. And he said to me uh, the other day, like, oh, mate, I, I don't like this. Yeah. I was like, oh, welcome. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, mate. Welcome to the anxiety when yeah, you go out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you, you have fun sitting in the pub with your girlfriend <laughs> while people are filming you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it, but the majority of it's fine. The majority mm. of it's positive. Mm -hmm. But the other side of it, he was like, oh, yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit daunting, I can't lie. Joe is quite, um, like, he won't take any shit, really. Like, no. So what was he doing in that situation? We when couldn't do anything. You could, was it, was, we were literally, like, the bouncers were like, you have to stay here. Like, we legit could not get up. We couldn't fight back. Not that we're going to fight back. Yeah, but, like, even if you wanted to. I did. To. So when the geezer threw it at me, I was livid. Like, I got up, and they just pulled me straight down because it wasn't worth it. Like, what was I going to do? Yeah. Go through the hundreds of people and find this one little tosser. It's like, hard. It's hard because again, like I said, with the other people, with the, the haters assuming mm. that you think you are, because the the bouncers are there to to, to protect you, it yeah. makes it look like maybe oh you think you're so someone yeah. you've got the bouncers, but yeah. but we didn't ask them. They were like we have to come over here because it's going to get out of hand, and it, it did get out of hand. Like someone went through a window at some point that night. What? Yeah, <laughs> someone jumped through the window. Like this Exeter. It's the dumb. <laughs> it's the dumb thing apparently. Fucking hell. Yeah. I, if I was a student. That Imperial sounds like a fucking good night out. Yeah. But not not for me. Not what, as a YouTuber. No. <laughs> what have you lads been doing? You've been on a little... We had a little road trip. We hired a camper van and just went surfing in Cornwall. Oh, lovely. Yeah, we went down there to like record like a, an episode on the road. Yeah. And we made the mistake of going to record the episode at the end of the trip where we're all really knackered. Oh, right. So we never recorded the episode. Because <laughs> you three love a night out, don't you? Yes, especially, yeah, I like a night out recently a, a lot. Is it because you're recently single? I'm going out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Hey, oh, my God. I don't know if you saw. Oh, the, this was probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. That It wasn't the worst thing that's happened to me this year. It was, it's definitely one worst thing in the last two weeks. Mm. So me, Harry, Cow, we just go on this random night out. Mm. And it just starts off nice, having a few beers. Next thing you know, we're at the pub and it's really getting out of hand. Like the shots, the bouncers are loving it. The bartender, everyone's going crazy. I... I so I've not been blackout drunk since I was like eighteen. Yeah, like I don't get blackout drunk. I'd get mm. hammered, but I don't get blackout drunk. Where I wake up the next day and I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I woke up the next day, and I'm like, "Oh, um, what the fuck? Like, how the hell did I get? I have no memory of what happened." And I've got all of my friends and all the all these Instagram DMs saying, "Fia, are you okay? Like, is everything okay?" I'm like, "Oh God, what what have I done?" <laughs> That's the what? worst feeling. And my mate texts me saying, "Oh, did you uh do you remember your live stream you did last night?" What? And I was like. There is no way. There is no way I've gone live. I went live on Instagram at 2 a.m. No! <laughs> and, uh, and it's just me for about five minutes like trying to work out how to end this live stream. <laughs> and I'm just looking, I'm just like, and it's just me telling myself off speaking like an Australian. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my, and I, I've only watched a little bit back because I can't bring myself to watch it back. But oh, I, mate. And I, you know, like the anxiety. I'm just like, yeah. oh my God, what the fuck? How, I, don't, apparently, I don't even know how I got home. No memory of how I got home. And the following you have, you could say one bad thing and that's out there on the internet forever. Mate, I'm, I did not. I, that's the, I'm so happy I didn't say anything bad. Yeah. Because it's it easy. Like when you're drunk, anything can come out your mouth. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, everyone's like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Like, I know you're probably stressing out, but you didn't say anything bad. It's fine. But yeah. then it's all over TikTok. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, oh God, I've embarrassed myself. And I hate to admit that I'm going to go and search it. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it, it's actual, like, I'm going to look at such an idiot. I'm just on the street floor, just like, oh, blah, blah. <laughs> and then, and then I'd like, I'd, I was in bed till like 5.30. I've never felt so rough and I had to be up for like a double date. Oh, wow. And I really fucked that up. Did no, you? It, it went very well, but she wasn't impressed that I was, uh, hanging out of my ass. Are you seeing anyone now? No. No, you're not? No. Because of that, like that could have gone somewhere, but then... No. <laughs> Just play in the field. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Enjoy it. If you're pulled into Alex Ferguson's office, it's never a good thing. Like, you know you're getting something. <laughs> <laughs>
So he's he's just nailed me, absolutely nailed me. He says, 